the Madman. Welcome to the top custom cards of the week. Week of July 13th. We're going back in time. This was when the old Doom cards were just being revealed. I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at these cards from a perspective of now we're starting to understand the old Doom meta a bit. Look forward to the next custom card review where I'm going to be taking the best cards of the last month to catch us back up to the recent cards. But now let's get started with Zavas the Purger. That's a Priest Legendary, 8 mana, 6-6, six, six, Battlecry, and Death Rattle. Destroy the minion with the lowest attack. Design, 5 stars. Balance, 5 stars. So that looks like a pretty good value card. Enters play, immediately kills something. Nope, it could kill itself. So it has to kill something with 5 or less attack at least on the Battlecry. And then on the death rattle, it brings something down with it. So it's pretty solid, but pretty slow. Even though I rated the design and balance five stars, I feel like this card could be pushed to seven mana in order to push Control Priest a little bit, which clearly isn't a deck at the moment. Last Resort, a Paladin zero mana spell. Discover anything. Anything, by the way, simply meaning you can discover other class cards as well. Design five stars, balance five stars. There's a lot of different flavors you could give this card. Uh, it doesn't have to be Paladin. It could be a Priest. It could be something like a Desperate Prayer. It could be a Rogue Grab Bag, but you'd have to apply the Rogue Tax to it and make it cost one mana or something. Well, yeah, that's a cool idea. I do think that instead of Discover Anything, it could say Discover Any Card, including cards from other classes. I understand that this wording is very cool, but it's a little bit unusual in that you can't discover quests, you can't discover, you know, treasures or anything, you have to be collectible cards. But yeah, that is really cool that you're doing a Hail Mary. Chef Pippin. 5 mana 5-6 five, legendary. Battle cry, summon a permanent Glorious Feast. When everything is full, win the game. Glorious Feast just simply always takes up a space on your board and says when your battlefield hand and hero's health are full, destroy the enemy hero. It's for someone who wants to do a very specific OTK. Design 5 stars, balance 5 stars. It's not easy to have all three of these attributes be full. The battlefield, and the hand, and your hero's health. Maybe the hardest part of this is your hero's health. I think it's a really cool idea. It would be pretty much built towards the type of people who like playing really oddball decks. Uh, one thing I would change is to nerf the card a little bit by making Chef Pippin a 5-5. This realistically doesn't change much, but it makes it so that the cost of running this OTK deck and having the pre-plan is not just playing like a 5 mana 5-6 five, well-statted card. I think for Glorious Feast, it could just say win the game instead of destroy the enemy hero for purposes of flavor. Mmm, feast flavor. Norn the Cowardly, a warrior 2 mana 1-1 one, one legendary. All other minions have taunt. Design, four stars, balance, three stars. This card almost is the same text as Sun Fury Protector, old version. Uh, the change is all other minions have taunt, not just your minions, but also your opponent's minions. And I feel like that small change uh, makes the card a bit more interesting. Uh, enough that I'm not going to downrate it too much for design for being just Sun Fury Protector. Balance was though, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one is really ridiculous uh, for, like, not an insane effect. I think to emphasize the cowardly portion, this could be a 0-4 or something like that. All Doom! 10 mana Warlock spell. Destroy all minions, your opponent draws a card for each. A play on the old card Doom. Design? 3 stars. Balance? 2 stars. I think the design is interesting, but I think it's flawed. It's such a big drawback to give your opponents cards. So it's worse Doom in all cases other than the case where you're trying to mill them out. But because so many decks will have such an empty hand size on turn 10, they would love to refill their hand. It's useless against so many types of decks, and it would never be played. Natural I saw play just because it was one mana to destroy a minion. But I'll doom for 10 mana and having such a big drawback, which is sometimes a benefit in milling your opponent. That's just not worth it. Is there a way to fix this card? It may not be possible. There is a mana cost where you would play this card, 
but for the same reason that naturalize got rotated out, such a spell may just be unhealthy for the game. Potentially, it's a really potent milling machine, with a potential maximum of 14 cards drawn. Plan B! Mage, one mana spell. Destroy your quest, summon a number of 1-1 one, one magic scrolls equal to your quest's progress. The magic scroll text is, death rattle shuffle a scroll of wonders into your deck. Design one star, balance one star. This, and I'm saying this because I had already raided this card uh, a month ago. This is one of the worst cards I've ever seen. I'm surprised it made it to the top 10 cards of the week for July 13th. Imagine a deck where you want to put in a card in your deck for the sole purpose of destroying your quest that you're working hard on uh, in order to just summon potentially 7-1-1s. Like, that's ridiculous. You would need to have such a high payoff to actually destroy your quest. The second copy of this card is useless. If you actually manage to finish your quest, then plan B is also worthless. So you would want to be putting this into a deck that exactly had a portion of the quest finished and then you would end it. That sounds so incredibly specific and just bad. And this would be like one of the worst epics to ever see the light of Hearthstone. Gravekeeper Dump. 4 mana 3 5, Reborn is disabled. Design 1 star, balance 5 stars. Reborn is pretty niche right now. There's a Paladin deck that does it. It has a few Reborn cards here and there. Ultimately, no one would run a tech card that targets specifically Reborn, but it is worth mentioning that this card was printed before we saw most of the Reborn cards. And back then, I also rated Design 1, and the balance I wasn't sure on because I wasn't sure how, how powerful Reborn would be. If the meta had formed in which Reborn was good, this would be such a... <laughs> such a feels bad card to be played against you. Basically, it just is bad design in the sense of all it does is make a really specific type of deck feel really bad. In neutral as well, I should say. I think class cards uh, are more appropriate for something like this. New life, new me. Priest 2 mana spell, give a minion reborn, then destroy it. Design 5 stars, balance 5 stars. The card is more flexible than it looks initially. It looks initially like Reincarnate, where you're simply killing one of your own minions and then resetting it to full health, perhaps triggering the death rattle. But where it's different than Reincarnate is, of course, when the card comes back, it only has one health. And it can be used on the enemy minions as well, so it's kind of like a Hunter's Mark, though you don't want to play it on something that has death rattle for your opponents. Use it on your opponent's minion, they, it would become one health, and then you could finish it off. I think that's a cool control tool and potentially cool combo tool, and cool in the fact that it has two different uses. This card does do burst damage with Leroy. Uh, it's kind of like the same as Wind Fury in that respect. You could cast two of these on two Leroy's, but I think that's probably fine. Sandstorm. This is a neutral spell, 5 mana, deal 10 damage, randomly split between all mechs, armors, and weapons durability. Design 1 star, balance 1 star. This is a neutral spell that's aimed specifically for warriors. Sure, you can argue like maybe mech hunter as well, but that's way too specific. There's so many decks out there where Sandstorm does nothing against. No one would ever run something like this. It's just basically ridiculous and useless, unless it's not. I think that tech cards have to be a little bit more subtle than this. See Skulking Geist, for example, where there can be friendly fire and it has uses against other decks than the one thing you're targeting as well. In other words, a high mana cost card that says if you're playing against Rogue when the game is bad design. No one would ever play that card unless Rogue was like actually a huge part of the meta. It needs to be somewhat more subtle and target like the specific problem that the meta is having. And now for the trump card of the week. Clever Heist. Rogue two mana secret after your opponent plays three cards in a turn and a copy of all three to your hand. Well obviously rogues would need more secrets to go with this. But for this one, design five stars, balance five stars. Very comparable to Rat Trap instead of the 6-6. Six, six, you're getting the addition of three of your opponent's cards to your hand. Drawing three is worth around five mana, I'm going to say, and the 6-6 six, six is worth about five mana. So Clever Heist and Rat Trap could be argued to be kind of similar. 
You're drawing not cards from your deck, you're drawing the cards uh, opponents are going to play to test this though. So the value of the three cards is usually not as high as the rat. Ultimately, I think that Clever Heist is an excellent card to get the rogues back into secrets. I think that secrets should be a rogue theme. You toss in a few extra on top of Clever Heist. Secrets are awesome. 